Hello, Dr. Janet Hall here, and this is my show, Sensational Relationships Made Easy. I'm going to talk about something really sensitive here. The question is, how much of your sexual past should you reveal to your new partner? For instance, a chap called John asked me um, that when he met his wife, she told him that she'd had a kinky past life, including threesomes. And he got excited about the idea of having that happen in his life. But he said, now his wife says she just wants predictable sex with him and, um, and doesn't want to turn him on telling him stories about his, her past, much less try it with him. John said he tried nagging and even stooped to emotional blackmail by, blackmail by asking her, how come you did it before but you don't love me enough to do it now? Well, my thought on this is that it's a mistaken belief that if you really love someone you'll tell them everything about your sexual past and they'll understand. It's true that when you first fall in love you have rose-coloured glasses and you can't see anything bad in your partner. In the rush to know everything about them, you might learn some of their history, which at first turns you on, um, but later on is a turn off. You might start to brood about their sexual past and this can lead to conflict if you throw it up in their face, which I've heard happen. In this case, John could think himself lucky that he had fun in the beginning with, with his wife's honesty, but now he has to uh, get real, get real John, and just appreciate your intimacy with your wife as something special. Don't taint it with the past. Resist your urges to find out about everything. Resist your partner's manipulations if it's your partner who wants to know. Keep the mystery up and don't give all of you away. Give vague answers if your partner really pushes but reassure your partner that you really, really do love them. I recommend that open communication is not necessarily the same as totally honest communication. Because totally honest communication is what I call the overwhelming truth. Open communication involves deliberately telling your partner how you feel. Um, ask for what you want and ask for what you don't want, um, but only in a positive and constructive way. Overwhelming truth requires you to say things that might be hurtful or downright stupid <laughs> because you're giving too much information away. For instance, don't spill the beans about the time you had a threesome with strangers. That kind of admission can backlash on you for the rest of your relationship which actually could be very short once you tell the truth. Your partner could skedaddle, leave, exit. The overwhelming truth might also backfire because it hurts the other person's feelings unnecessarily. In other words, you're being tactless. And you are leaving yourself open to emotional blackmail if you share too much. So resist your urges to find out everything. Um, here's some good... Uh, helpful answers if you get some probing, probing questions. For instance, what if you're asked how many lovers had you had in the past? Answer for that is to say, I was curious in the past to have a range of experiences, but now I'm very, very happy with making love only to you. Can you see the affirmation there? I mean, I had one chap um, who'd found his wife's diary and she'd had sex with something like 220 men. She was about 40 at the time. And when I asked him, well, how many women do you think you would have had sex with? He said, only 160. Well, I don't know about you, but after 10, I don't think I'd count anymore. Here's another question you might be asked. Tell me your wildest fantasy. And your answer might be, I used to fantasize a lot about other women, but now I always seem to find only you on my mind, and I fantasize about you. Wouldn't that hit you right 
in the hot spot in your heart. And what about with this question? Did you ever have an affair? The answer to that might be, well, when I was younger, I flirted around a bit with women at various functions, but I decided that could get a bit messy. Anyway, who needs to think of anyone else now that I have you? Now, I will end this little clip with one big caution, or actually two. Two things that you absolutely should tell all the truth about. The first one is your safe sex status. So, do you have any sexually transmitted diseases or have you had sex with somebody who did? You have to confess about that. And the other safety is about your risk of pregnancy. So, you need to say um, in a reassuring way that um, for girls that you're on the pill or um, you, you have that injection uh, and for guys, if you have had a vasectomy, well, that could really work in your favour. So, obviously, uh, own up to that one really soon. And so, I hope that these tips about being caring and cautious in how much you reveal of your sex life will help you make sensational relationships easy. Talk to you really soon.